shelf. I review the internet's recipes to see if they are actually any good and if they can be achieved by us mere non-chefs. And today, we're making Nutella brownie cookies. So recently, I did my long overdue driving test. Luckily, I passed. But one of the main reasons I passed, or even able to do the test in the first place, was because my brother's girlfriend so kindly offered me to steal her car. So this week's video is baking her a gift to say thanks, Emma. Now when looking for something to bake for her, there are a few considerations I had to make. One, she loves chocolate. Two, she's gluten free. And three, she is the queen of making brownies. So I knew any old regular brownie recipe, chocolate recipe, just would not suffice. This had to be taken up a notch. I happened to come across these beauties. I mean, they look pretty cool, they don't look too difficult, and most importantly, they look delicious. And hopefully, it all works out. No pressure. So here we have all the ingredients we need to make our delicious Nutella brownie cookie. So the recipe we're following today is by cooking trick for Nutella brownie cookie recipe. And it goes without saying, I'm swapping the regular flour for gluten-free flour, which I will take into account when reviewing the taste and the outcome at the end. Let's begin! Okay, we're putting our chocolate and our butter together. And we're going to microwave it for 30 seconds. Hers looks like a lot more melted than mine. We'll do another 15 seconds. Alright, give it another 15 seconds. Oh! Alrighty, so I put it in for a minute altogether. That has made them all nice and melted. So we're mixing this until it is thoroughly combined and has no chocolate, no chocolate clumps in it. No clumpy clumps. That looks pretty good. So for now, let's set this aside. Now we get a bowl. Bowl oh, friend! Okay, we are adding our egg, brown sugar, and salt. We're gonna stir it until bubbles fall. Oh, right, so the bubbles seem pretty bubbly. Pretty good, isn't it? Delicious! Now we're adding the chocolate and butter from before. Mixing until it's combined. Now thoroughly combined. Ooh, yum. Now we're adding our Nutella and the vanilla extract. And we're whisking again until it's combined. Now we need to get out our sieve. And we're adding in the and I've already put my baking powder and baking soda inside here, I think. I can't remember. I'm 95% sure I do. This is my gluten-free flour. Gluten-free. I'm mixing it again. We swapped over to a spatula. Let's do the same. Now we're going to seal it with plastic wrap. Trusty plastic wrap. So far everything has been pretty straightforward, just kind of putting it in one big bowl, mixing, so we can keep it up. To the fridge! Okay. Next we move on to the cookie dough, I suppose, which will be on the outside of our brownie mixture. Next we're breaking up the softened butter. Let's chuck it in. Whee! And add the sugar, salt. And mix until somewhat melted. Looks somewhat like the picture we have here, the video. So let's keep adding our things. What is next? Egg, vanilla extract. And again, we're mixing this until it's thoroughly combined. Why am I out of 
first. <laughs> Let's add some flour. Gluten free flour. And we're mixing until this is combined. So I think we're mixing this until it kind of comes together in a little ball kind of looking thing. have come together. Okay, fingers. Pop it on some cling wrap. Just fold this over. That's fine. Now we're gonna pop this in the refrigerator as well for one hour. See you in one hour. Alrighty friends, it has been one hour and we are going to get our brownie dough and our cookie dough out of the fridge. So I think we're starting with this one. We're taking it out of its little coating, its little blanket. Ooh, I'm going to turn my oven on. 340. How big are these slices? Excellent. If you hear any banging in the background, it is my delightful child having a party over there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So we've done it lengthways. Now we do it into little squares. Seven grams per piece. All of our beautiful little biscuit squares weighing seven grams each. <sighs> What's next? And we're rolling them into little balls. All right, so I finally got through all the little balls. It's not hard. Just a little time consuming. Now we move on to the hardened Nutella mixture. I think we're doing the exact same thing. Mass. Yeah, so we're doing the dough and to 10 grams. We're doing the same thing, then we're rolling them into little balls as well. Child, what are you doing? What's in trouble? Trouble than the devil. Just finished rolling out the chocolate balls as well. I've got some major poo hands going on. So I'm not gonna lie, my friends, that got really boring really fast. <laughs> that took a while. But let's move on to the next layer. Taking this little stuff here, and we're flattening the dough, and we're popping one of the doughs in here, and then we're closing it up. Oh gosh, it's falling apart. Oh gosh. This is the best we're gonna do. So I put two baking trays full of the cookies. I've run out of room, but I've still got some dough left. So I'm gonna pop a batch in the oven at 160 for 12 minutes and kind of rotate it that way so I can finish with these. Okay, in the oven, you go.
my cookies. They look pretty gangster. They look pretty cool. Visually, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So the recipe itself was really easy, really straightforward. Used a lot of ingredients that could be very easily on hand, especially when you follow it with the subtitles on and you have a visual video. It was very easy, probably the, the easiest of all YouTube videos I've ever watched. It was slightly time consuming when you had to weigh each cookie dough and each brownie dough and then had to um, form them into the balls. It was a bit time consuming, but let's try it and see if it was worth the time. So let's give it a go. Mm. Did the taste work out? Hells yeah, that tasted pretty yum. Um, Oh, there's a bug here. Hello, bug friend. He's just going down the road. Down the road is ever known. Anyway, the cookies taste really good. They have this weird, kind of like when you bite into an M&M and you have that shell on the outside. And that's what it tastes like. And I'm thinking it's probably the gluten-free flour because gluten-free flour is very gritty and um, isn't as soft and smooth as regular flour. So I'm thinking that might have added a bit of grittiness to the end result. Apart from that, they're really delicious. I think it's really cool that they're like biscuits, but then they're like a brownie on the inside and they look like, they look really cool. But is it not a chef approved? Yes, it is not a chef approved very easily made by us and the chefs. Thanks to Cooking Tree for putting up the video and developing the recipe. And I highly recommend watching the video, <laughs> watching cooking. Come here. Oh, okay. Oh, say hello. Hi, dear. Hi. <laughs> highly recommend watching Cooking Tree's video as you bake it. The recipe ingredients in the description and then the method is throughout the video. Put the subtitles on and you will have no issues. So if any of you other non champions give it a go, make sure you tag me in on Instagram. Tell me how you did and if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment any recipes you want me to try so you don't have to. Thanks. Bye. Say bye-bye. Oh, I got Oh, okay. Bye-bye.